Salvate de Schipuli. In this video, you can review and correct your translation of the story in Foro, in which you will have further reinforcement of your newfound knowledge of accusative as direct object. Okay, so correct your translation if necessary based on what I present here. Do remember that there frequently can be more than one correct translation. So if you have a question about whether what you have translated is acceptable, either ask me in the Google Meet or send me an email. Okay, so just because your translation is different from what I present here doesn't mean it's wrong. Caecilius non est in villa. Caecilius is not in the house. Caecilius in foro negotium agit. Caecilius does business in the forum. Caecilius est argentarius. Caecilius is a banker. Now the root of the word for banker is argentum, which is the word for silver. Um, we have in Spanish argento, which means money. Um, also, that explains the, um, the symbol for uh, silver. Argentarius pecuniam numerat. The banker counts the money. Okay, so here again, this is our accusative object. Okay, counts the money. Pecuniam is accusative because it's the direct object. Argentarius, accusative here, nominative here, because it's the subject of the verb. Caecilius forum circumspectat. Caecilius looks around the forum. Ecce, pictor in foro ambulat. Look, the painter walks in the forum. Now, a pictor is a painter of art, okay? Um, as we're going to learn in the next story, he's going to hire this particular painter to come and make some art in his dining room. Pictor est Keller. The painter is Keller. Keller is his name. It means fast, by the way, from which we get the word accelerate. Keller caecilium salutat. Keller greets caecilius. Again, accusative object. Keller is the name that is nominative, but I caecilium because he is the direct object of the verb. Ecce, tonsor quoque est in foro. Look, the barber also is in the forum. Quoque, this is a new word for us. Quoque means also. Tonsor est pantagathus. The barber is pantagathus. Okay, any time you have a th or a ph or a y in a Latin word, it is a Greek borrowing. Okay, so his name actually means like all good, um, but is definitely a Greek name. Caecilius tonsorem videt. Caecilius sees the barber. Here is again the accusative singular of a third declension noun. Salve 
Caecilius tonsorem salutat. Hello, Caecilius greets the barber. Okay. Also included in today's lesson is going to be my cover version of the Beatles song, Hello, uh, Salve, Salve. It's going to go on and on like that. So you're going to definitely learn Salve today. It means hello. Salve, Pantagathos respondet. Hello, Pantagathos responds. Ecce, when Alicius forum intrat, look, the slave dealer enters the forum. When Alicius est sea fox, the slave dealer is sea fox. We're going to learn in an upcoming story that he is actually Syrian. When Alicius Mercatorem expectat, the slave dealer is waiting for a merchant. You might have translated this as waits for a merchant or even expects a merchant, and those are all fine. And again, Mercator is the nominative. For third declension here, we add an EM, Mercatorem, for the accusative. Mercator known when it the merchant does not come Cfox est iratus Cfox is angry i mean no one wants to expect someone and have them not show up so he's angry Cfox mercatorem vituperat Cfox curses the merchant 